Yes, what's up guys? This is Ziki at EPX Baby. <laughs> I just want to show you the psychology behind the candlestick formation. So uh, go with me throughout the video and then you get to learn more. Good time. Okay, when you open your chart maybe on uh, MT4, MT5, either trading platform you're seeing, you'll see these moves. These red and blue thing and green things are called candlesticks. They are just a parameters to measure the market movement. You can use it to measure on bonds, stocks, cryptos, indices. Yeah, they're just a parameter to detect whether to buy or sell. So when you open a chart, you'll see these random moves. Downwards, upwards, downwards, upwards, downwards, upwards. This is the criteria of the market. It doesn't move in a very good fashion. Because if it were that, then everyone could be a millionaire. You could just buy and then go to sleep. We have concepts that we learn in this chart. Uh, today we will be focusing on the psychology behind a candlestick formation. So the red and blue, th uh, the green things are candlesticks. These, the, these are the things that we will be basing on today. At least to understand what is happening in the chart. And for your information, this random movement in the chart... They are under respect of a very phenomenal concept in economics called supply and demand. Okay, okay, the two hey, hey, tools, let me call them tools, they are called candlestick. And to my color coding, I prefer green and uh, red. Maybe if we may use like a currency, some sort of currency like a GBP USD. Let's say GBP is green and the USD is red. When the green is rising, it means we are selling USD. And when the red is falling, it means we are buying USD as we sell. <laughs> we are buying GBP as we sell USD. It's just logical. You buy something to sell something. You sell something to buy something. Okay. Uh, if you start to analyze this uh, candlestick, the green one, when the market is rising, it opens from bottom and closes from above. And uh, you are seeing some weeks above it. This is above and bottom. This is a very con uh, phenomenal concept to show that, let's say we are using a one hour candle, uh, candlestick. The market opened, then it uh, tried to sell, but before that uh, time frame closed, the chart started rising, rising, rising again, arising. And after rising for a moment, the sellers, the bears, uh, tried to short the market before the time so it means that the sellers had uh, engagement in the chart and then also the the sellers began with the chart and then bu uh, bulls the buyers took charge for a moment again then the sellers took uh, charge it means that's why you're seeing a, a, a week from bottom and also a week from above it now, if we base on this red candlestick, it means that for you to sell, the price has to open above and then close at the bottom. But uh, this candlestick is phenomenal. You see that, the, yes, the price opened at the top, but before it started the journey to go downwards, the buyers tried to push the, the price above within that one hour before it elapsed. They tried to push it above, above a bit, but uh, they had no capacity. The sellers took it back from the opening and then they drove it downwards, downwards, downwards. But before that time ended, buyers again took charge and then they reason the chart. That's why you see WW in the chart, WW. They reason it up for a moment. That is the uh, fundamental behind the, the candlestick. Finally, there's more we need to talk about, but uh, the main thing is that the chart doesn't move by its own. It's it's being affected by economy behind the currency pair you are having. Like a GBPUSD, you know, you need to contrast the economy economic status between a British pound and a US dollar. That's why we buy at demand zone and we sell at supply zone. Yes, there's so much we need to learn about this thing, like fundamental, technical. We'll get to learn and understand it better. Have a nice time. Good.